what if there were a drug that could not only protect people from dangerous levels of radiation exposure, but also heal those actually exposed to damaging nuclear radiation? Such a healing medication might help to lessen the panic and fear that have been generated by the leaking reactors in Japan. Plant workers trying to make repairs near the crippled reactor's highly radioactive cores would be less fearful if they could take a pill to repair their own radiation-damaged cells. Ramesh Kumar, the CEO of a U.S. drug research firm called Onkanova, says his company has just such a wonder drug in the making. The company has been collaborating on the drug called XRAD with scientists at a U.S. Defense Department research laboratory. Kumar says early animal trials have been promising. XRAD is a drug which is effective in saving a cell damaged by radiation. And we have found that it can be given in advance of exposure to radiation up to a day ahead, or it can be given up to a day after exposure to radiation. There are existing antidotes for radiation exposure that have been approved by the Federal Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. Potassium iodide, also known as the radiation pill, prevents the body's absorption of the radioactive iodine present in reactor emissions. If a person is poisoned by radioactive isotopes such as plutonium and cesium, the types of radiation also being released from the Fukushima reactors FDA-approved drugs such as Prussian blue capsules can quickly flush out radioactive elements from the body. Andrew Huff is a spokesman for the Armed Forces Radiobiology Research Institute, which has been leading the Pentagon's quest for a more effective antidote to radiation sickness. He says right now there are no FDA-approved drugs for treating the condition, which has a wide range of symptoms. The symptoms of acute radiation sickness would be just exactly like a terrible flu. A person would have a headache. They would feel very tired. They would have a little bit of a fever. They might have some vomiting at higher doses. All of this would be more severe and it would come on more rapidly. At survivable doses, it would come on within about six to 24 hours and it would be over within two days. And you might think, well, I'm okay. But really what's happening is the, the body is losing its platelet supply and its neutrophil supply. And in order for you to feel sick from that, just like after chemotherapy, it takes a little while for infectious to, infections to come up, to, to, to come about, or for you to have any kind of bleeding from the loss of platelets. Huff says yes. that Pentagon and scientists have been looking for effective treatments for radiation illness for the past 50 years, and the search is intensifying. The other more vexing problem, the one that we really have to worry about for larger numbers of people if there were nuclear terrorism, is how much external ionizing, penetrating radiation a person would get after a nuclear detonation. To combat such a crisis or to treat people exposed to radiation from a damaged nuclear reactor, the Department of Defense and Onkanova have collaborated on the development of XRAD. Again, Ramesh Kumar. And the FDA has devised a development path for drugs like XRAD, uh, which involves uh, clinical trials, animal studies, and additional controls for manufacturing. And we are in the process of completing these studies. We started this process in 2008 uh, under an FDA IND, which is an investigational new drug exemption. And we, are ca we have carried out uh, uh, clinical studies in human uh, subjects uh, for safety. And we are in the process of uh, continuing uh, to do animal efficacy studies. So once all of these studies are uh, completed, uh, we can get approval for a specific indication. It could be prophylaxis or it could be given after exposure. It could be an injectable or it could be an oral. Kumar says XRAD won't be available for at least another two or three years. In the meantime, government officials are warning the public to be cautious about the growing number of claims being made on the internet for anti-radiation drugs that purport to be miracle cures. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.